So when we talk about electing a president or a Congress to run the economy better, they're missing the whole point. Okay. Uh, governments aren't supposed to run the economy. The people are supposed to run the economy. Well, well, what's wrong, uh, Professor Krugman, right. with leaving the government out of the equation? Well, there's certain things. You know, you can't leave the government out of monetary policy. If you try to think, you know, we're, we're going to just let it set itself, it doesn't happen. The government is actually always, uh, the, the Federal Reserve, the central bank, is always going to be in the business of managing uh, monetary policy. If you think that, that you can avoid that, um, you're, living in some, you're living in the world as it was 150 years ago, right? We have a, an economy in which money is not just green pieces of paper. With, uh, with faces of dead presidents on them. Money is, is, uh, is the result of the financial system. It includes a variety of assets. We're not even quite sure where the line between money and non-money is. It's kind of a, a continuum. And look, history tells us that, in fact, an un, a completely unmanaged economy is subject to extreme volatility, subject to extreme downturns. I know there's this legend that people like, uh, probably you, Congressman, have that the Great Depression was somehow caused by the government, caused by the Federal Reserve, but it's not true. The reality is that was a market economy run amok, which happens, happened repeatedly over, our, over the past couple of centuries. You do need, you know, I, I'm actually, I'm a believer in the market economy. I'm a believer in capitalism. I want the market economy to be left as free as it can be, but there are limits. You do need the government to step in to stabilize. Depressions are a bad thing for capitalism, and it's the role of the government to make sure that they don't happen, or if they do happen, that they don't last too long. Now, uh, Professor Krugman indicates that we just want to go back 100 years or so. That is not exactly true. We'd like to improve on what was like back then, but he wants to go back 1,000 years or 2,000 years, just as the Romans and the Greeks and all other countries debased their currency. They didn't have a computer. This idea that we need a Federal Reserve to run things, well, federal. I, I, or a central bank, that's just a modern era. Now, now and, uh, Representative it's Paul, never, it's, can you clarify, what do you mean by go back a thousand years? Is, is, is that fair? Clarify well, what, what uh, you mean what, by that. What, uh, what did, what did the Romans do to their currency? Hey, hey, hey. I, I am not a defender of the economic policies of the Emperor Diocletian. So let, let's just make that clear. No, the, the, well, we, you are. In a way, you are. No, that's I'm, exactly I'm what a, you're defending. I'm a defender <laughs> of the economic policies that we followed after World War II that produced this, the, best dec, the best generation of economic growth that this country has ever experienced. We had a, a set of policies that provided, there was mild inflation, there was government, effective government regulation of the financial system th so that it didn't go wild the way it did after we lifted those regulations. We had fiscal policy that stimulated the economy when it was needed. Um, we had policies that fostered a strong middle class instead of, uh, instead of using the, the, the worship of, of the supposedly ideal forces right. of the market okay. to, to lead to plutocracy. I, I, li I like the America that my parents prospered in. I think yeah, we can there, restore there, a lot of that. Reason. And there are some reasons for that. Just remember that Friedman, uh, you know, uh, Bernanke apologized to Friedman because the Federal Reserve was responsible for prolonging the agony of the Depression. I want to say something about Milton Friedman here. Because if you actually read what he wrote in his writings for economists, as opposed to some of his slightly loose popular writings, he actually said that the Federal Reserve was responsible for the Great Depression because it didn't do enough. Friedman's complaint was that the Federal Reserve did not print our, enough money. Now, I, 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 you know, I know this really. When, when Ben Bernanke talked about the helicopter, that was, he was taking that metaphor from Milton Friedman. That wasn't his idea. And, and, well, when see, Mil and it's, it's, it's really telling that in the state of America right now, Milton Friedman would count as being on the far left of the debate over monetary policy. Yeah. That's something terribly but wrong the point, with where, the way we've gone the, here. The point the point is, the Fed either does too much or too little and they can't do it. Why can't we allow ourselves here the legal competition over gold or silver standard? Uh, wh why was the Fed so frightened about this? And then, if I'm wrong, whew, I have no uh, idea who, what that's who, about. Who cares? If I'm right, if I'm right, if, the, if you want the paper money uh, and I'm wrong, it doesn't hurt anybody, just allow me to legalize the currency, get rid of the monopoly, take the taxes off gold and silver, and get rid of the sales tax and capital gains tax and get in the legal tender laws. Don't hide behind a monopoly and force. People today, I, if they use gold and silver, you can really, go to jail in this country. Do you really think that people... That's not, what I, that's not my understanding of the law. But do you really think that people use dollar bills only because the federal government isn't allowing them to use other stuff? That's, that seems to me to be a very strange point of view. And by the way, we have lots well, of private money. You don't have a choice. You go to jail if you yeah. use anything else. You That's go to not jail. what I've heard. Uh, you can do barter. You can do barter with all kinds of stuff. No, the fact of the matter is that, that we actually have, we actually had too much 
too much currency competition, too much money competition, right? This crisis was brought on by an expansion of what amounted to private money in the form of things like repo, which were uncontrolled and turned into a, a, an enormous crisis when they collapsed. So, but look, okay. I mean, it's just if, come back if to a that. private company, if a co private company commits fraud, they go to jail. If the Federal Reserve commits fraud, they get nothing. <laughs> I've been pretty harsh on Ben Bernanke, but fraud is not one of the things I would charge him <laughs> with.